show is brought to you by Post. The cereals that start your day a little bit better. Post. Starts your day a little bit better. A little bit better with Post. Alpha bite. A little bit better with Post. Right crinkle. A little bit better with Post. Most toasty. A little bit better with Post. Sugar crisp. A little bit better with Can't get enough of that sugar, Chris. Well, looky here, it's empty. Guess I'll trot down to Granny Goodrich's house and grab me a bowl full. Hi, Granny. Hold the phone. Your sugar's on the way. Oh, it's sugar bear after my sugar crisp again. I can't get enough of that sugar crisp, sugar crisp, sugar crisp. Gotta hide my post sugar crisp. It's a honey of a snack, you know. I'll try a magic getaway. I can't get enough of that sugar crisp, keeps me going strong. He's catching up. Better hide my sugar crisp quickly. He'll never find it now. Sure knows how to start his day a little bit better. You bet your booties, Granny. It's sugar sweet and honey flavored wheat, so it keeps me going strong. Bye, Granny. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. You can get sugar crisp in post treat pack, too. Six sweet treats made just for kids. Greetings. Today is National Linus Admirers Day. I have had built some temporary bleaches so that any admirers who want can watch me rule all day long. You're doing great, King. Thank you, Billy Boy. Keep up the good work, Linus. I will indeed, King. We're all for you, Linus. I know that, Crocodile. How much longer do we have to sit here? Not too long, Grouse. First, we are going to have a story, and then I am going to announce a special treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a lot of trouble. The jungle is so peaceful. Oh, but there's so much to see. Paris, Rome, Italy, Spain, New York, London. Pick a pamphlet, any pamphlet. But I, uh... New York, perfect. Just where you ought to go. But you can't go look like that. Oh, what Sharp. <laughs> yeah, I got sharp pains on my feet from these shoes. Well, there are a lot of things you'll have to get used to in the big city. Like, for instance, tall buildings. Well, why, don't, why don't you climb to the top of this tree? You see, that way you'll get the feeling of, of, of high places. Attaboy, King Baby! Okay, now how do I get down? Easy. Take the elevator express. Non-stop. Okay, now run around the circle. Faster. Faster, faster. Why am I doing this? To get used to revolving doors. Teach you to go round, around, around, around. Good. Now, quick, 
Have you ever seen the traffic signal? No, what's traffic? <laughs> what, what, what's traffic? Look, red light go, green light stop. Walk, you walk. Don't walk, you don't. Run. Hold. Trot backwards. Step aside. Turn somersaults. Hop on one foot. Freeze like a statue. Proceed slowly. Increase speed at 85 miles an hour. Uh-oh. Detour. Ah, keep out private property. Get away from the noise and the confusion of the city. For a small fee, I can put you on Cloud Nine Pound. And by the way, another thing you gotta watch out for in the big city are the Sharpies. Quick, get up! Watch out for falling rocks! Go loitering. Okay. This is ridiculous. Subway. I am taking this back to my regular part of the jungle. Goodbye. Wait for me. You're right, Billy Boy. I see what you mean. Travel is broad, and it's made you a different person already. going to take a group picture of all of you sitting around me so that you can show your friends that you know me personally. Hey, wow, yeah, yeah, some deal. I don't have any friends. I, Linus, king of beasts, have built a fortress for my protection as I invite you to try my cereal in the new post-compact box. Post-crispy quitters. <laughs> The one and only cereal that comes in the shape of animals. Each different animal shape is deliciously frosted with brown sugar. Get post crispy critters. The one and only cereal that comes in the shape of animals. <laughs> and made with oats. Roar and with the strength of a lion. Uh huh. A spy. And what is your name? Ah, Post Crispy Critters! The one and only cereal that comes in the shape of animals. Ah! And kids, da 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 let us watch this story, and by the time it's over, the others should be back. Maybe, maybe not. See, Clyde, boy, you leave that corn alone. If only I could break down his resistance. Break down. Breakdown. That's the answer. I'll convince him he's having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Hi, old buddy. Now, now look, Claudia. Uh, boy, I told you this morning that... This morning? Oh, you must be cracking up, pal. I just got in from Buffalo. Buffalo? But, but I'm positive I saw... You don't look too good. You've been taking care of yourself while I was in St. Louis. St. Louis? But, but you just said... Hold it, pal. I'll be right back and tell you all about Cleveland. Boy, maybe I've been working too hard lately. Just as I feared, an advanced case of cornophobia. Cornophobia? Yeah, cornophobia. Well, you get it from hanging around corn too much. No 
What you'll need is a nice long rest, and I know just the place. Jake, see, Clias, it certainly is peaceful here. Just the thing for your shot nerves. The only sounds are the gentle twitter of the birds. Golly, I think I hear them now. I I'm awfully tired. Can we go to my room? A sure thing, pal. As soon as I sign in. Do you spell raccoon with one K or two? Boy, these hotel pens never work. Holy corn for this, you're turning blue. Hey, I better get you out of this drafty lobby. There. <laughs> Comfy cozy? You'll feel much better after a nice napsy wapsy. Oh, I better check for burglars. Shh, shh. Attention, burglars! Anybody under there? Come on with your hands up! But please say, Claudius. All I want is peace and quiet. Are your little blanky blankets too warm? Too warm? No. Well, they should be. They're on fire! Hey, wow, golly. Don't panic, pal. This joint has all the latest inconveniences. Uh-oh. Hey, we can't have you catching them cold. I know just the thing. A mustard bath. Here you are. Soak your little raccoon footsies in this. Help, say, Claudius. My feet are stuck. I thought it was awful white for mustard. I'll bet it's cement, boy. There. That should be big enough. Uh, are you crazy? I can't get out through that hole. Oh, that ain't for you to get out of. It's for the dynamite to go into. Dynamite? Oh, finally. Oh, boy, I have Rory's cornfield all to myself. What's that noise? <laughs> oh, oh, what, what happened? It's, it sounded like a, a dive bomber. In a cornfield? I think you've been working too hard. What you need is a nice long rest. I know just the perfect spot. Really? Where is it? Not in this cornfield. Now get out of here. Go on, get out. It stay out. Yeah, I know I'm going. <laughs> picture taken with you, Linus. Me too. I want my missus and the kids if you don't mind, Linus. Not at all. Kangaroo. Well, I see there are still some late arrivals, so we will take a one-minute break and then everyone should be ready. Cowboy, how many raisins in post raisin brand? Raisins? Little boy. It's a raisin counter. I know how many raisins in post raisin brands. How many? Approximately. <laughs> That's a lot. All day long, I count, count, count to make sure post raisin brand is deliciously loaded with raisins, raisins, and more raisins. That little raisin counter was right. You sure get lots of raisins in post raisin brand. <laughs> hey, who's watching the horses? The raisin counter. Two million and three raisins, two million and four. I believe everybody is here and ready to have their picture taken in my presence on National Linus Admirers Day. You know, I believe this is the first time that I've seen most of you dressed in formal clothes. Except me. This is my most formal, casual look. Sugar Bear, that is how I like you. Now, everyone sit still and watch this story and then on with the picture taken.
something good to eat for him. I said it was for Lawrence. Here, boy. Here, Lawrence. Oh, gee, that's funny. He never stayed away when there was a big old bone to chew on. Dear nephew, peaceful. How are you? Oh, I'm awful. Something awful's happened. Lawrence is missing. Yours truly will find him as soon as I deliver my last letter. Why, what a coincidence. This letter is for you, possum. I will read it to you. Goodbye forever. Signed, Lawrence. That silly dog has run away. Where should we look, Uncle Truly? Let's see now. Where would be the best place to look for a runaway dog? I, Richard Harry Nearly, silent movie star and part-time dog catcher, shall follow them and apprehend that unlicensed beast once and for all. Let's see now. Dog biscuits, dog college, dog and cat hospital. Dog and cat hospital, do you suppose? Uh-huh. I shall take a shortcut and get there first. Let's see. I'd better work fast if I'm going to find Lawrence. Uh-oh. Dear nurse, we are looking for a small white dog that goes by the name of Lawrence the dog. You'll have to ask Dr. Ben Nasty. Where will I hide? Ah, yes. Nurse, 403 in the operating room immediately. Prepare him for a thorough weather analysis and be sure and complete the flea job follows it up. Double, double, double. Here we are at Mr. Arf's Poodle Salon. Gee, Uncle Lovable, do you really think Lawrence would disguise himself as a French poodle? Monsieur, may I be of assistance? Dear beauty parlor of dogs, man. Yours truly is seeking a dog. Monsieur, exactly what kind of dog? What is his pedigree? Lawrence is a mutt or mongrel or something. Mongrel? Not here. Yours truly will just have a look around, thank you. Horrors, they'll spot me unless... All of these here dogs are too beautiful to be Lawrence so far. Wonderful, simply wonderful. Horrors, now we'll just clip your ears a bit and you'll be the most beautiful. Oh, gee, Uncle Lovable, how will we ever find Lawrence among all those dogs? So that little mutt thinks he can escape me by joining the army. Uh-oh, that pesty postman. Attention! Right! Hey! What? Hey! Nine Core Induction Center. Horrors. Hmm, here's a rare one. A poodle-headed magnificent. Should we look next, Uncle Lovable? Well, dear nephew, I'll have to give that some thought. Gee, I had such a nice big bone for him. Lawrence, it's you! I love you, Lawrence. Give me a kiss. <laughs> for a picture of me being admired on National Linus Admirers Day. This is my camera, and that empty spot is where I will sit so that everyone will be seen in my presence. Then who takes the picture? Why, oh, Arnie, you're right there, Grouse. He's right, he's gonna take a picture. <laughs> After the upcoming commercial, I will demonstrate why I am king and you two are subjects. <laughs> Dear kids, how are you? Yours truly, your lovable postman is fine. As a postman, the letters I carry are post alphabets. They are better than ever. Dear kids, post alphabets has all the letters. Every letter's a little bit better for you cause it's made with oats, frosted with brown sugar. Get alphabets in a new post compact box. ABC delicious. And now I'd like to sing, start your day a little bit better, a little bit better with post. So I did. Dear kids, have fun. That's F-U-N, fun. This is yours truly saying in alphabets, I-L-C-U, yuck, yuck. And P-S, dear kids, 
Get alphabets in post-treat pack, too. Six sweet treats made just for kids. Yum, yum. Linus has thought of a way to sit where he is and still operate the camera that takes the picture. Look. See? This long tube coming out of the camera. It's attached to a rubber ball which he's holding in his left paw. Go, Rickett. And after the next story, I will squeeze this rubber ball, causing the camera to take a picture of all of us. Greetings, children, friends. Today, we have story of... A giant with two glass jaws. Hero wanted to perform task and marry princess apply within. I take a shot at it. You're not the hero type. I am too. Here, Pops, a job filled beyond your wildest hopes. I willing to perform task of marrying princess. Me too. Well, I grateful to your heroes. But marrying princess not for task. Princess reward for task. Then uh, what task? Yes, what task? Two head giant steal my gold. Task is get gold back. Relax, who's scared of little giant? Yes, except they're no little giants. Open door. Hey, giant. Company calling. You're the giant? No, ho, ho. I just big for my age. Oh, ho, ho. Wow, what a funny remark. Those both heads yours? No, they're another giant picking off my shoulder. <laughs> you in rare form today. Well? He, our man. One side, big boy. We coming in. Barging into person's house, some crust. We here for king's gold. You no know, give trouble, you no know, get trouble. <laughs> get him. Maybe he punch our toe. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Question, which of your heads better looking? This head. This head, of course. You think so, I think so, huh? Oh, oh, you oh, give me that. Oh, I give it. Oh, you give me that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You think that. Oh, oh, Giant got glass jaw. Two glass jaws. Snap it up, lazy bones. Ah, oh, good. I rescue gold single-handed from double-headed giant. Single-handed? Now I marry princess and inherit kingdom. Get up while I try throne for size. Wait, he a blowhard and a credit grab. We here to tell king little fella is one who get your gold back. Be out with us all by self. So now king answer question, which get princess? Both. Both? Both? Behold. <laughs> Who had a princess? We no want her. She ugly. But to us, she beautiful. The prettiest girl we ever saw. Will, Will you, you marry me? Yeah, yeah. Good. Then I command everyone to live happily ever after. Moral of story, honorable children, friends? One regular head smarter than two fat heads. Hey, he call you fat head. You take this, I give you that, I give you this. You, you give me that, I give you that. You take one of these, I take one of those. Ah, ow! All right, everybody sit and watch the bitey. Yeah, me. <laughs> I'm the <a> birdie. <laughs> when I count three, I will take now a picture. One, two, 
tree. <laughs> I wanted me to come out flying. Well, you will be blurred in the picture because you are not supposed to move. Also, Linus, he flew right in front of my face. Well, that part is good. Right. Of course, we won't see you, Grouse. <laughs> we won't see you at all. <laughs> all right, quiet down. I will take another picture during this message. Hey, kids, now you get free So High Acrobat toy inside Post Rise Crinkles. What'd you say? So High said. Rise Butter's Crinkles is sweetest to eat because it's crinkled with sugar, and sugar is sweet. Now, what you say? Same as you. Crinkles are crinkly and sweetest to eat because cause they're... Crinkled. Crinkled. Crinkled with sugar and sugar is sweet. Ah, so. <laughs> And look, free acrobat inside. Lenny! It looks like you, so high. Sure, it's a so high acrobat toy boy. Look, twirl it in your fingers, and I do tricks. I hang by heels. I hang by toes. How I end up, nobody knows. <laughs> this is fun. Sure is. So I say, get my free acrobat toy now in post rise crinkles. During that commercial, we retook our group photo celebrating National Linus Admirers Day. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. That's horrible of me. You caught me frowning. That's the worst picture of me I've ever seen. You ever see any other pictures of yourself? No, but so what? My friends, they'll bust out laughing if they saw me with an expression like that. Awful. It makes me look old. And I came out half asleep. Well, nevertheless, cameras do not lie, and that is how you all look. Except for a peculiar expression on my face, it's an excellent picture of everyone else. Oh, I only copy. Uh, oh, 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 see you me. next week. Maybe it won't be National Linus Admirers Day, but we will have fun nevertheless. So long. The Linus the Lionhearted Show, who's starring Billy Bird, has been brought to you by Post. The cereals that start your day a little bit better. Post. Lion.